mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell first discovered by colica later on benda was the scientist who coined the term mitochondria this is the internal structure of mitochondria it has the outer membrane this is in the membrane of mitochondria the finger like projections of inner membrane these projections are called as in cristae the main part concerned with the atp synthesis the intensity of atp synthesis depends on the density of cristae more the cristae more the possibility of atp synthesis in the mitochondria the inner cavity is called as a matrix this is the matrix of mitochondria it's a cavity it's a lumen inside the mitochondria the dna is present ribosomes are also found inside the matrix of mitochondria so this is dna without his term and these are the ribosomes which are 70s type name the cell organelle eukaryotic cell organelle having prokaryotic kind of ribosome and also must be the ribosome ribosome is the protein factory of the cell or the protein synthesizing machinery of the cell which is found in the mitochondria this concern with the synthesis of protein which act as an enzyme for krebs cycle krebs cycle is the process of aerobic respiration which occur in the matrix of mitochondria dna is also present here but without histone histone is the protein require for the chromosome synthesis but in the mitochondria there are no chromosomes only the dna is present and that's why histones are not required in the mitochondria remember that due to presence of dna mitochondria is a semi autonomous cell organelle it undergo division like that of the bacterial binary fission and so the mitochondria can produce other mitochondria by its own and that's why it is a semi autonomous cell organelle for krebs cycle are also found in the matrix of mitochondria very important thing cristae remember that mitochondria is the cell organelle concerned with the respiration specifically aerobic respiration it has a three stages the first one first is a glycolysis second one krebs cycle and third one is ets or oxidative phosphorylation remember that glycolysis occur in the cytoplasmic matrix here mitochondria is not concerned but krebs cycle occur in the matrix of mitochondria and electron transport system or oxidative phosphorylation occur on the cristae of mitochondria so this way krebs cycle occur in the matrix and ets electron transport system occur in on the cristae membrane of mitochondria on the cristae f0 and f1 particles are present remember that f1 and f0 particles are mainly responsible for oxidative phosphorylation the structure is like this the base is the f0 the stalk and this is f1 particle it is similar to that of racket f0 and f1 f0 is embedded in matrix 
it is embedded on the Christi membrane and F1 is protruding out towards the matrix. This is towards the matrix of mitochondria. This F0, F1 particle are also called as an ATPAs or simply it is also called as then elementary particles. In fact, Fernandez and Moran were the scientists who discovered this F0, F1 particles which are formed of specific kind of ion containing protein and that is why this elementary particle or ATPs or F0, F1 particle are also called as a Fernandez Moran particles and these are mainly responsible for oxidative phosphorylation. Oxidative phosphorylation is a main process of ATP synthesis. Remember that with the help of oxidation energy ADP is phosphorylated by inorganic phosphate to form ATP and this way the process of ATP synthesis is oxidative phosphorylation as oxidation energy is used in this process. Simply the oxidation energy is obtained from the electrons. When electron move in the electron transport system at the time they liberate the energy that is oxidation energy and with the help of this energy ADP is phosphorylated from ATP and that is why ATP synthesis occur in mitochondria and so it is called as in powerhouse of the cell. Now other names of mitochondria are bioblast, sarcosome in the case of muscles it is called as an sarcosome. This sarcosome word is a specific for the muscles. Remember that this all are the different names of the mitochondria and the main function of the ATP synthesis. Elementary particle or ATPs as we discussed earlier are also called as an oxysome in some reference books. So oxysome is nothing but F0 F1 particle itself. If we talk about the different functions of the mitochondria, yes obviously main function is the ATP synthesis but in the case of some muscle it does concern with the calcium storage. It also concern with the amino acid synthesis and the lipid synthesis as well. In some cases the beta oxidation specifically in the animal cell does in the matrix of mitochondria. So, these are the various functions of mitochondria. This sarcosome word is a specific for the muscles. Remember that this all are the different names of the mitochondria and the main function of the ATP synthesis. Elementary particle or ATPs as we discussed earlier are also called as an oxysome in some reference books. So, oxysome is in nothing but F0 F1 particle itself. If we talk about the different functions of the mitochondria, yes obviously main function is the ATP synthesis but in the case of some muscle it does concern with the calcium storage. It also concern with the amino acid synthesis and the lipid synthesis as well. In some cases the beta oxidation specifically in the animal cell does in the matrix of mitochondria. So, these are the various functions of mitochondria.